What's up guys, today's unboxing, we got the Unicorn Overlord Collector's Edition for Nintendo Switch. I'm um, pretty excited to get this. Apparently it's sold out now, as time of writing. Maybe the Switch version will get another restock at some point, but Collector's Edition, currently sold out. Um, I was on the fence about pre-ordering this one for a while, but you know, I like card games, I like strategy games, I like Vanillaware. They're the, uh, the studio who, who made the game, so uh, why not go for it? It cost, I think it was $130, I should have remembered this before, I knew, before turning on the camera. But 130, I'm pretty sure, and it comes with. Uh, I guess I'll show you what it comes with. But uh, I'll open up right now. But the packaging came a bit damaged in the mail, so I'm a little bummed about that. I was initially, I actually got this about last week, and I was holding off on maybe trying to request a, uh, a replacement copy instead of this one, return this one, get a non-damaged one. But uh, now it's sold out everywhere, so I guess I may as well just open this one. Going right into it. Um, so I did. I mean, I looked into the contents of this Plexidition before I purchased, obviously, um, and it's right here on the side. I didn't look at any other um, unboxing videos or anything like that, so I don't really know how the quality of everything is. Hopefully it's good. So I took out the wrapping. Um, there's like an outer sleeve. It's not right there. Oh man, the box itself is a little damaged too. Can you see that? Corners are a little bent. Oh well. You know, my only option at this point. This is the Unicorn Overlord Collector's Edition. This is a really nice, um, I don't know the name of the texture on the box, but it has a very, um, very nice material make on it. Emblems, got our seals. All right, open it right here. Is it a, it is a magnet case. You, feel, you hear that? Magnet seal, opens up right at the front. We have our copy of the game. Um, you see the coloring of the box. It's very uh, parchmenty color. We got the game, and the game actually did not come shrink wrapped. That's weird. Saw that the game right out of the collector's edition, no shrink wrap. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is. Um, one second. There's like a code for something. I'm gonna take this for myself. You can see the back, but uh, here, code that gives some kind of a heraldry pack, like avatars or something. Uh, that's, that code's for me, sorry guys. Um, at this point, there's no back reverse cover, but you can see the front art, and the back art of the game. Uh, really weird that it did not come shrink wrapped. Um, here's the cartridge. See right there. All right, let's get into the meat of the collector edition. I believe I can just take this out. Yep, pops off the top. And we have the 16-bit arranged music album is a soundtrack. Does it say on here how many tracks it should have? It doesn't actually say how many tracks. I guess maybe it'll say once I open it. Inside. I'm trying to uh, not cut this when I'm opening it because it's very thin. Do you see this? It's incredibly thin. Um, I need both my hands for this one. The edge right there. Okay. Maybe this will give me a little more to work with. I am surprised at how thin this little booklet is. Or, I guess, what do you call it? CD sleeve? CD case? I'm just a fan of typical jewel cases, but I guess, you know, they gotta save packaging space. Get it. Took it on shelves. Alright, 16 bit arranged music album. Got one here. Nice art over here. This is pretty nice. Oh, okay. Has a list of tracks. Uh, second disc over here. So it looks like it has 20 tracks total. Um, I don't haven't played the game yet, so I don't know where they're from. Uh, okay, disc one. Pretty nice art on it. Really don't like paper sleeves for CDs, but uh, oh well. Disc two, different artwork, red and blue. And here we have the track list. I think you can take this out. Yep, paper, plain on the back. That's kind of a missed opportunity there. I would have really liked if they put that, um, this artwork on here. So yeah, 16-bit uh, soundtrack right there. We got the art book. Uh, I don't really like looking in art books before the game, before playing the game, but uh, I guess just for reference, hope last page sounds clearly. It's about 130 pages, yep. 
Um, it's about yay big, hand for size, hand for scale. Uh, it's a paper uh, paperback. Pretty small, um, but pretty. I mean, pretty dense, but pretty small this way. I'm gonna scroll. Th Ooh, that is nice. Glossy paper, of course. I'm going to uh, go through a few pages. I'm gonna stop because I don't want to be spoiled or anything. There's a full forward, full table of contents. I'm gonna look away for a little bit, actually. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go through the art book at the end, people who wanna see it, but for now, I'm gonna um, go to the game. I I'll go back to this and show every page at the end, but uh, I just wanna go over this first. And then people who are scared, who don't wanna see spoilers can just uh, watch the rest of the video. This is the card game. This also does not come shirt wrapped, pretty weird to me. But the card game, according to the box, it is a, it does not say. I feel like on the product page, it definitely listed more info than just card game. But it doesn't say anything on the back. Two to four players, 30 to 120 minutes. It's a pretty big range of time. I actually do like board games and card games quite a lot. So I probably will get some use of this. I hope the game is actually good. Uh, okay, we got a rule book. Oh, it has a little like comic. That's cool. Um, one side you can see a comic. You can pause if you want to read it. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. On the back, shows you the, uh, the game setup, what everything looks like. It's a very helpful, quick guide. We got the rule book, how to play. Um, this one, I'll let you guys have a moment to pause and read the pages if you want. Appreciate the full color, um, detailed rule book. Uh, again, I don't know how to play yet. I watched a video on how to play a while back before the game came out, but uh, can't really remember. It's kind of like a deck builder, or, um, town builder kind of game-ish. It goes after like five or six rounds and then you just win again the most points or something like that. Uh, yeah, so let's hope this game is good. Let's see the contents of the game. It comes with three decks of cards that are provided to you with a paper um, little sleeve holding it. The cards feel, um, right off the bat, they don't feel super high quality. They kind of feel papery, like they could use a uh, plastic gloss finish that they don't have. That's what they're missing. Um, I don't know the cards too much, so I'm just going to... Yeah, you can definitely see it when you feel it. They. I might have to sleeve these ones. They do feel like unprotected papery printing, which is unfortunate. Yeah, bit of a miss there. Um, these look to be... Um, they're smaller than standard size cards. They might be Japanese size, Yu-Gi-Oh size. Um, cards so i will i don't actually have sleeves on hand but i should have brought some i'm pretty sure these will fit Yu-Gi-Oh size sleeves is my intuition okay so we got three decks of this one two uh three oh here's the back by the way i don't know if i showed you the back of the cards Okay, um, I don't know what's in here. Oh, there's a fourth deck, okay. So this deck, um, these are the point cards that you go for. Um, quick play, how to play guides, a smaller deck, so three and a half decks cards. In this thing, it looks like there's like some beads or something for counting score, what are these? Yeah, you got some, uh, oh, kind of nice actually. So these are the typical little um, cubes that you see in games like uh, Pandemic or most board games, pretty common. Um, you got four of these that have like a hundred marker on them. Uh, maybe they're supposed to count points, is my guess. So there's like a point track somewhere, maybe. Not sure. And this last one is a little meeple shape. So you got four, four, and the one. And the uh, little cloth uh, sack, or not, not cloth, what do you call it? Like a potato sack bag. It actually feels pretty good. This is a nice quality bag. Um, good material, pretty on theme. I like this a lot. All right, um, I I mean, maybe at some point I'll do a separate video on how to play the game once I learn and if I like it, but uh, I might be too lazy for that. That's the card game. And so for people who wanna see the art book, um, I'll show you this now. Uh, before I get into it, um, there are some, I'll put some purchase links in the description below where you can buy the game for yourself. Um, Collector's Edition is still currently in stock for non-Switch consoles. And it may get us a restock on the Switch. So I'll show you, or I'll put all the links in case it restocks there. And uh, yeah, if you 
purchase from the description link. Um, would appreciate it. Uh, here's the art book. Any questions you guys have, feel free to put them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. I check them pretty frequently. I spend way too much time on YouTube nowadays. But uh, I'll say as a disclaimer, I'm not looking at the art book right now. I'm trying to stay spoiler free. This is just for you guys. Uh, yeah, if any of you have the game, how are you liking it so far? Are you enjoying it? I'm pretty much, pretty, I've been really looking forward to it. Um, I have a huge backlog of definitely over 100 games, but I'm pushing this up to the forefront just because I want to play something new. One, one new game this year. I've been playing a lot of older games, but I want to get at least one new one on the record. Especially, um, because, you know, Vanillaware, I really trust them after 13 Sentinels. Um... What else have I played? I've played Dragon's Crown, I've played Odin Sphere, um, Grim Grimoire recently got a re-release. Yeah, I didn't play that one yet, but I bought the Deluxe Edition. Actually, I bought the original Grim Grimoire for the PS... It was like a PS2 game, I believe, but I bought the PS3 digital copy of it on, when it was on sale a long time ago, and I never got around to it. I didn't realize until much more recently that they made it. It was actually after playing... Like, when this game came out, Unicorn Overlord, was announced. I looked up more info about Vanillaware and like, oh hey, they did Grim Grimoire. That's cool. Um, hope this art book has some cool stuff. It certainly has a lot of pages. Let me speed it up a little bit. Feel free to pause if you want to see any particular page. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Um, but yeah, if this guy affects your decision to purchase the game or not, uh, let me know. Or the Cox edition at the very least. I think I'm pretty happy with how things turned out. It's $60 versus $130, so it's about $70 upcharge for um, the added contents. Maybe it's not completely worth it, but if you are a fan of the game, I think these are like pretty unique offerings. I mean, art book and soundtrack are pretty typical in collector editions, but they seem to be pretty good ones. And the card game itself, um, that's definitely an exclusive thing. I don't know I get that. That's a very unique offering. And I am a huge fan of board games, card games, so I, I'll support one being put in a collector's edition in the hopes that this becomes more common in the future. The last game to have something like this, um, a board game, card game, part of the collector's edition that I bought was uh, Tokyo Xanadu, actually. I don't know if you know that game. It's by Falcom, the people who are behind Trails and the Yeast series, the YS series. For Tokyo Xanadu, they made a card game called Blade and included it in the collector's edition. And it's actually pretty fun. It's like pretty simple, but it is a very fun game, actually. I give them credit for that. So i uh, always glad to see more uh, board games in collector editions. And uh, this is everything. So again, um, I, I do want to say this box is really nice quality, too. Um, any questions about the game or anything else, put in the description, in the comments. And check the description for links where you can purchase. Until uh, next time, guys. Take care.